Do you need a new spark of creativity when it comes to writing? Or do you just need new ideas for videos, blog posts and blog headlines? Then today's product showcase might be for you. Today's product showcase is Word Hero, an AI copywriting tool providing you with ideas and content in all sorts of forms. So without further ado, let's dive into Word Hero and create some ideas. We are now inside Word Hero and it is a very simple platform. We have a menu up here where we have Home, the editor, which is the long form editor, and then we have the history, which is the content I've already generated. But let's just go back to home and then let's start out by testing one of the tools. And as you know, if you have seen my other videos of AI copywriting tools, I always test the blog intros because that's my comparable point where I can compare the different tools to each other's. So let's start out by entering a topic. So I have now entered the topic powerful affiliate marketing software, which helps you create an overview of your affiliate programs. And right now the AI is writing. So the speed of the writing is okay. I've seen it faster with both niches and paper type, but it's okay. So we got here three different intros we can use. And in the bottom, we can give some feedback, whether the introductions were great or not so good. And this feedback is used to improve this specific tool. And what I have seen in their future roadmap is that later on they will add so we can create keywords which needs to be used in the blog introduction. If you think that's an interesting feature, then please give this video a like. Now let's take a look at the different blog intros. So what we have to remember with the blog introduction is that it needs to start broad and then further down in the blog, then we will narrow it into what the subject is about. And here we get three very broad blog introductions and overall they're okay. There are some elements where it is using the wrong names and some elements where it just doesn't make 100% sense. But when I wrote my topic, I tried to write to the affiliator and not the company doing the affiliate marketing program. And all of the blog introductions are from the companies. So the target group for these blog introductions are not correct. So let me try and change my topic. Now I have tried to take a different approach, talking about a project management software, helping you manage all of your projects in one place. So this one is to a very specific target group. So let's see the blog introductions. Again, we get three blog introductions. So here we do actually see some great introductions. All of them are using the name panta.ai and it's using them in the right sense. The first one is very generic and the last one is very specific, talking about Trello, Google Docs, how it's using the features from there. And it's talking about you can create cards, lists, and you can upload files and so on. So the last one is actually talking about features. And in this case, they were lucky because those features are part of a project management software. So overall, this is a great result. So it seems that blog introductions can be used if you are extremely specific with what you need. And right here, the limit is actually okay because it is a topic I'm writing. I'm not writing an entire introduction, which they need to then work on and then elaborate it. One thing I did notice is the first blog introduction here. The first sentence is exactly what I wrote. So that is a bit of a mix, but the rest is great. Now let's try and move on and let's try and maybe create a book title. So we will keep the same topic as we chose before. And then let's choose that it's a non-fiction book type. Now let's see what type of results we get. So now we got six different results. And the first one is just called Panta. And then from there, it is talking about AI. This is fine. However, the name is Panta.ai. So I would like to see that being used. But overall, the titles are fine. It looks like blog posts, not so much book titles, but it can be used, especially the one called the easy way to manage your projects. That really does sound like a book title. So that's an interesting feature. Now let's move on and try some social media tools because up here they have different categories that we can use. So I will try to generate some video ideas. And here I will choose YouTube where I want to create the videos. And then I need to give a short description. I can see here that it took my nonfiction from my book title and entered into my description, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but let's try and make a short description. So I have now chosen the short description, all AI copywriting software combined 
which is the best one. So let's try and see the video ideas. The video ideas are completely off. It makes no sense. The first one is a room full of people typing on their keyboards. The second one, they are all typing at the same time, but you can't understand. And the last one, AI and human can work together in a video. So this is a huge, huge miss. These video ideas doesn't make sense and it has nothing to do with the description I made. Let's try a different description. Now I chose the description, what is the best software for email marketing? Again, the ideas over here are completely off except for the last one. However, the last one is just exactly what I wrote. So this tool is not very relevant and it gives very poor results, unfortunately. So let's move on and try one last tool. Let's try and generate a product review. So the name of the product I need to fill out and then what the product is about. So again, I chose Panzer.ai is a project management software helping you to create an overview of all of your projects in one place. And I did do one typo, but I can see that it worked fine. So here we do get two product reviews and they're actually great. I would be able to copy and paste these reviews and use if I had to review Panzer.ai. Of course, this is a text review, but it is still a decent output. Now, one thing I want to show you is their writing tools because in writing tools, they have a grammar corrector. Now, this tool is another tool where I think to myself, how can this be relevant? Because overall, we can enter 200 characters. And when do you want to copy and paste a sentence which is 200 characters or less? Often you want an entire article which is grammar corrected. So again, this is not such a relevant tool. And often we just want it up in the Chrome extension or in the Safari extension. We don't want to copy and paste it into Word Hero to see what we can change in order to achieve better grammar. So it seems like some of these tools are not as relevant or at least not working like I would like them to work especially as we saw it now with the grammar corrector, but also with the video ideas. But they do have a lot of interesting tools like the Tone Changer. I know their AIDA copywriting formula is working great. And if I click on all, you can see that they have a lot of different tools. And if you want to use their long form editor, you can do that as well. However, the long form editor is basically just a long piece of content that you can write with their small copy tools. So I don't see it as a real long form editor. I just see it as a way of making it easier and more convenient to use a lot of the small tools in one article. So if that works for you, you should definitely try it out. Personally for me, I like when it's more built in and the long form editor works to write full length articles with an introduction, sections, headlines, and outline and a conclusion in the end. Taking a look at the pricing structure, it is very simple. You can only choose one plan. And when you choose between paying annually and monthly, you will see a huge difference. Paying monthly, you will pay 49 US dollars. Whereas if you choose the annually, you only pay 29 US dollars per month. So it's very obvious for me to see that they want to try and bind all of their customers for a year at least. One thing you do need to be aware of is their long form editor is not part of this monthly payment. That is an add on you need to buy later on. But comparing this to the alternatives as I see it being niches and pepper type, then it is in between on some points. Niches is comparable because of the design, but niches just generate better content and their long form editor seems to be further ahead. Whereas pepper type I see as the best of these three, they have the great design great short form copy and great long form copy. So if you just need the best, go with pepper type. But Word Hero definitely has some interesting elements coming up very soon. Moving on to the future of Word Hero, they are working on more tools like sales copies, social media tools, and an article rewriter. Furthermore, they are adding document structure with folders and they're adding team management so we can be able to use their platform more easily. Last but not least, they're adding a plagiarism checker so we assure that the content that we are using is unique and not used already. Of course, they're working on a lot more elements, but this is the most interesting things they're adding as I see it. Now moving on to the pros and cons of using Word Hero, starting with the pros. They have a lot of great small copy tools, 
the output is decent and all copies are saved. Whereas for the cons, it's easy to lose the overview in the design. The long form editor is an add-on and I feel limited on my own input. Word Hero is still a platform in development and the fact that the long form editor is an add-on is a bit of a letdown for me. Overall, I will give Word Hero 3 stars. The design is a bit outdated and the output is not as great like we see it with niches and pepper type. But yeah, that is my review of Word Hero. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions to Word Hero or other products you would like me to review, please leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's catch up on the next one.